My name is Anu Roberts. I'm the Senior Director of Product Marketing here at CDK, and I'll be your host, as Amanda mentioned, uh, for the session today. I really do hope you enjoyed the keynote and the main session earlier and were able to come away with some great information and insights from our leadership team. You know, there was a lot of discussion around the key themes of trust and experience and operational efficiency and how dealers need to be ready to quickly shift to meet the rising consumer demands. And in our session, we're going to dive into ways that cybersecurity and collaboration can help you build that trust and experience to give you a competitive edge. We've gathered a great lineup of some of our key experts here at CDK IT Solutions and, uh, and some guest speakers as to discuss cybersecurity trends taking place in the dealership and key ways to protect the dealership from cyber threats. We'll also explore the future of customer experience and how innovative collaboration solutions can help you deliver that elevated consumer experience that consumers are looking for. And here to kick us off today to talk about IT trends in the dealership is Joe Bell, our VP of IT Solutions. Joe, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Anu, and thank you all for being here. We certainly appreciate your time. Um, as Anu said, I'm going to discuss some of the trends in automotive and how they may be impacting our businesses. If you joined us last year, some of these are going to sound familiar with certainly some evolutions to each of those. So first, security remains a top trend. Um, cybersecurity threats are a major issue, and frankly, they're on the rise in our industry. From ransomware to big data breaches, malicious actors have increased the volume and the sophistication of their attacks. So dealerships should raise their defense postures by creating or updating their security policies, vetting their data security practices, and, and most importantly, training your employees to spot phishing emails, which continue to be the main attack vector for our industry. Crucial to having a strong security posture uh, is a pre-built response plan. It's very difficult to think through the necessary steps when an actual event's going on, so planning ahead of time is key. Lastly, as the regulatory deadlines loom, making sure your dealerships have covered those edge cases that are so important to compliance is a, is a very pressing concern. Shifting a little bit in the world of collaboration, we're seeing two major trends that both point to a new model. One being making certain your business can function when disruptions arise, and the other is expanding and changing the way your business communicates with consumers. On the first, dealers are looking for ways to increase employee productivity and operational efficiencies, whether your associates are at the dealership or working remotely. The new collaboration platform needs to support your workflow across a wide range of endpoints, whether that's a PC, it's a laptop, an iPad, or a smartphone, and no matter where your employees may be. Similarly, the second major collaboration trend is supporting your consumer to dealer communications, again, across various channels, such as voice calls, texting, video, social media, web, or whatever communication channel may come in the future. But bringing these multiple channels together so that the consumer experience is a frictionless and personalized workflow, regardless of the mix of communication methods a consumer chooses to use is key. Lastly, the growth of collaboration platform in the context of integrating deeper into apps like Drive, Service, and eLead. Add to that the application of AI to predict the conversation and the outcome. During last year's Connect 2021, we announced the upgrade of our collaboration platform to be able to support new services like those I just talked about. Today, you'll hear from our collaboration product owner, Jeff Hartman, and our partners, Cisco and Google, as to our progress. And we're very, very excited to share this with you today. The last trend I'll speak to is the outsourcing of IT services. As IT budgets are stretched and the dealerships require heavier technology demands in the areas that I've kind of highlighted already, dealers are left with a heavy burden of managing their day-to-day -day IT operations. So we're seeing more and more dealers uh, are outsourcing some or all of their IT operations to a managed service provider. The trend in this section uh, seems to evolve towards a collapsed vendor list of products and solutions and selecting an MSP that has utilized a heavy investment in automation. These two criteria have really helped to impact on simplifying IT and so helps dealers optimize their operations. Our solutions and our roadmap are designed to help you keep your dealership secure, up and running, and gain a competitive advantage while preserving your customer's trust. And our focus will always be to help protect your business and data from cyber attacks, build collaboration solutions with deep integration and flexible tools that enable you to connect with your customers anyway, anywhere, and anytime. And lastly, to simplify and automate IT management. 
So look, we're really excited to show you um, how we can help your dealership achieve these goals and capitalize on the trends that we're seeing in the marketplace. And so without further ado, Anu, I will let, uh, we'll let the seminar, the webinar get going into some of the cool content that Steve and uh, Jeff have. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Joe. You know, as you mentioned, <clears throat> modern IT is complicated and cybersecurity is at the forefront of that. And here to talk about the dealership cybersecurity trends and protecting data is Steve Gonzalez, our senior sales engineer here at CDK. Steve is also a certified security professional and holds a CISSP certification. Hey, Steve. Hey, New. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, as Anu mentioned, my name is Steve Gonzalez. I'm really excited to discuss cybersecurity, current trends we are seeing, and the new FTC safeguards rules. But before I get started, I think it's worth noting that this brief presentation is really meant for everyone, all dealers, regardless of the size of your organization or your IT security expertise. Over the past few years, it's no surprise that we've seen a greater frequency and severity of data breaches. It's really not hard to notice the uptick in security incidences across the board. The threat landscape is changing rapidly. The attack service has increased, predominantly due to business requirements increasing the speed at which companies innovate and drive the need for connectivity. The need for connected devices has grown exponentially. We've seen rapid changes in the need for edge and cloud computing platforms. Remote workers have more than tripled over the last few years, and we've seen large increases in IoT devices connecting back to the network. Now, every year, CDK surveys dealers regarding their current security posture. We would like to quickly review some of the key findings discussed in our annual state of cybersecurity ebook, which is currently available today. We'll take a look at some of this year's results versus last year's. We'll introduce some key findings in regards to the new FTC safeguards rules. We'll also highlight what dealers are seeing directly. In fact, many of the dealers even provided us with quotes on what they are currently doing and what is keeping them up at night. Cybersecurity risk is complex and constantly evolving as businesses innovate. Large businesses are no longer the only ones targeted by cyber criminals. In fact, over half of today's attacks are now targeting small to medium-sized businesses. Attackers do not discriminate. Small to large sized companies are all at risk. Attacks and incidences are increasing and costs are climbing well into the millions of dollars. There are, however, certain risks with dealers that concern dealers in our industry, as mentioned in our annual ebook. They are most notably centered around data breaches, data exposure, data exfiltration, and the potential for significant business interruption and reputational damage. These top three um, threats can consist of phishing, ransomware, and employee awareness. The good news is that 89% of dealers surveyed feel cybersecurity is either very or extremely important, which is a 12% increase from the previous year. What's concerning, however, is that only 37% 37, 37 feel confident in their current security controls that they have in place today. Now, we hear from dealers all the time that they are seeing an increasing number of social engineering attacks, particularly phishing attempts. Phishing remains the top threat this year as it was last year. It is far easier to trick someone or convince someone to give you access to their network, click on a link, or provide you password information than to actually try to steal it yourself. Ransomware came in at number two, which is the same as it was last year. It's apparent that protecting customers' personal information, access to business files, fear of disclosure to the dark web and to the media are still major concerns. In fact, by the end of this year, ransomware is expected to attack businesses every 11 seconds. Lack of employee awareness, however, did move up a spot from last year to number three. Employee awareness is critical. People are your most valuable asset. Unfortunately, they're also your weakest link. People are genuinely friendly. They want to be helpful. The cyber criminals know this, and that's why many social engineering type attacks are successful. By far, social engineering attacks are your most popular attack vector. Over 90% of attacks start with some form of social engineering exploit. Now, I'm not and now I'm not advising you to hire mean or rude people by any means but proper security awareness training from a reputable partner 
will have a huge impact on protecting your business. You know, every year we ask dealers about their cybersecurity action plan. What are the top controls you have in place to reduce or mitigate risks? We know cyber threats and data protection are at the forefront of dealers' minds. Antivirus and any malware protection increased 31% from last year. Securing both your network and endpoint devices have also increased. In fact, all of the dealers' action plans have increased with the exception of two real-time monitoring and formal response plans. This was actually surprising. Both are very important requirements of the new FTC safeguards rules. Real-time monitoring monitors your network 24 by seven by 365 by trained security professionals. If a security incident is detected, it allows for a rapid response to contain and mitigate threats. This will dramatically increase your response and detection times and could limit your potential overall damage. These days, having a formal response plan is a must for businesses. There are several different types of plans that assess risk uh, and aid in response efforts. Uh, the average downtime due to a security incident is just over two weeks, coming in at 16.2 days. Knowing how to react and what actions need to be prioritized can greatly improve your response and recovery times. Now let's quickly review the FTC safeguards and our findings and see where dealers stand in their quest to become compliant. The original Federal Trade Commission Standards for Safeguarding Customer Information Rule, i.e. Safeguard Rule, was issued under the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act and took effect in 2003. It outlined foundational requirements of an information security program that covered financial institutions, which also applied to dealerships. Last year, the FTC published updates to its original safeguard rule some 18 years later. The revised amendments includes a substantial number of new and expanded procedural, technical, and personnel requirements that dealers must satisfy. The upgrade, updated rules requires dealers to revise their entire security program and implement new additional compliance measures. Dealers must act in due diligence and act in due care to ensure these um, revised measures are in place to keep customer information secure by the deadline date, which is just a few months away on December the 9th. As you can see, the revised safeguard rules covers a wide variety of information security requirements. There are 16 total identified by the FTC. Now, we do not have time allocated in this presentation to cover all 16 in detail. However, I will touch base on just a few. Dealers are required to appoint a qualified individual to oversee their information security program. Now, this individual could be a dealership employee or a third party overseen by management. The new qualified individual is required to report annually to the board of directors and is responsible for implementing and enforcing all aspects of your security information program. Dealers must conduct a written risk assessment that identifies both internal and external risks to your organization regarding confidentiality, integrity, and availability of customer information. In your assessment, you should evaluate the adequacies of your existing controls in the context of the identified risks or threats that you face. This written risk assessment must be conducted periodically at a minimum annually. And lastly, dealers are required to have multi-factor authentication in place for all individuals accessing any information system enterprise-wide, meaning throughout your entire dealership. It is proven that multi-factor authentication is exponentially more secure than just having one factor for authentication, like a simple password. Now, we just quickly went through a handful of the 16 requirements. We barely scratched the surface. These new requirements will have a significant impact on dealership operations, as well as the potential for steep monetary penalties imposed by federal and state officials if dealers are not in compliance by the deadline date and suffer a data breach. I think it's worth noting that dealers that have less than 5,000 customer records are exempt from the new FTC obligations. However, it's still strongly recommended that you put controls in place to protect your customer's information and your business. I, knew, I know the new safeguard rules can easily become overwhelming, especially considering the sheer variety of the new requirements. In our annual ebook, 
we asked dealers, how close are they at becoming prepared with the new requirements and compliant? As you can see, larger groups with six to 10 rooftops are more prepared compared to smaller or medium-sized dealers. However, as a total, less than half are prepared to meet the requirements by the deadline date. I think it's important to note here that when you evaluate security solutions, you really should be considering solutions from a managed service provider. Security is just too important not to. There's just too much at stake with your business and the updated safeguard rules. Having the proper knowledge and staff in place to meet the requirements will be challenging. A lot of dealers do not have a dedicated IT employee. Typically, their IT person also handles other responsibilities at the dealership. And if they do have a dedicated employee, security is a very highly specialized field within IT. They might not have the correct knowledge or expertise needed. Utilizing a fully managed security solution will allow you to maximize efficiency, knowledge, response and detection times. It will improve your overall security posture. Um, they provide dedicated support. They have access to leading industry threat intelligence. They'll also reduce the management burden from your staff. We often hear from dealers that security is very confusing or overwhelming, in fact. Many dealers do not even know where to start. It really could be a daunting task when you're considering developing your own security strategy. I recommend taking a step back. Take a deep breath. It's okay. I challenge you to think about security holistically. Minimize your attack surface. Follow a defense in depth or layered defense methodology, which includes multiple overlapping controls. Protect your business by implementing a combination of physical, administrative, and technical controls that all work together. A good place to start would be to review what you currently have in place today. Is it working? Are there any control gaps? Understanding your current state is critical. And for that, we're offering a free, no obligation, DMS agnostic security evaluation for dealers, where we will assess how the dealership is performing, what security controls you have in place, and what controls are maybe lacking. The evaluation can be conducted either on-site or virtual, depending on the dealer's preference. And then approximately seven to 10 days after, we will review the results with the dealer and make recommendations. We'll also provide the dealer with a written report summarizing their evaluation results. You could easily sign up for the free evaluation by visiting the link on the screen, CDK Global slash security evaluation. Well, that concludes my time for today. It was a pleasure discussing cybersecurity and the FTC safeguard rule changes with you. Please keep your finger on the pulse of your dealership in regards to security. You must remain vigilant in protecting your customers' information and business against cyber criminals. Great. Thanks so much, Steve. It was really good to hear how dealers are thinking about cybersecurity and protecting their dealership as well as their customer data. Um, and, and also around the scope and impact of FTC safeguards and having how having the right partner can really help them navigate this complex landscape. Um, so now let's switch gears over to collaboration. You know, as we heard from the panelists in the main session this morning, you know, customers are in charge now and we need to meet them where they're at. And the winners are going to be those that can meet and frankly exceed those expectations. And here to talk about how we are helping dealers do just that and gain a competitive edge with the future of customer experience with collaboration is Jeff Hartman, a lead product manager here at CDK. Hey, Jeff. Hi. Hello, Anu. Hello, everyone. My name's Jeff Hartman, and I'm a product manager here on the CDK collaboration team. We appreciate you giving us your time today. I'd like to spend just a few minutes talking about some new trends in both advanced communications and automation review the increasing expectations customers have for making it easier to communicate and do business, and share some feedback we've gotten from our dealer community about how they want to address these demands. And we also have a new service that we've created to help address these needs, and I'd like to show that to you as well. So how are customer expectations increasing? Well, they want faster and they want easier ways to access information services. And they want to choose the application or the service or the device that they use to do that. That could be a voice call, text, web chat, IM, a social media, or even a combination of these things. They don't want to have to repeat information through the journey. 
if they've given their name, their phone number, make and model of their car and why they're calling, and then they're transferred, they don't want to have to repeat these same things to the next person. And they want to choose the time and the day that they access this information services. It could be Sunday night at 1130. And what have dealers told us about how they want to deal with this? Well, they've been very clear that they want to outmaneuver their competition and deliver a superior customer experience. They want to accommodate that customer preference for the communication type that they prefer to use. Dealers want to give employees more time with the customers that are actually in the dealership and free them up to deal with complex issues and problems. They want to increase revenue through sales and upsell opportunities. Things like, before I transfer you, I see that your Honda Accord has a national recall. Can I schedule a service appointment for you? And finally, dealers want to drive efficiencies. They want to use advanced communications and automation to do more with less. We developed a new service to help with these things. It's an on-demand, always available, AI-based virtual assistant. It answers calls and using a really natural, high-quality voice that performs workflows. It anticipates what a customer needs. It answers questions, provides services, and it increases revenue. And what do we have ready to go today? We have a voice-enabled assistant that does predictive call routing, meaning I see that you were speaking or texting with John earlier today. Are you calling to talk to him? And it does service appointment workflows. It can schedule, modify, or cancel a service appointment. This technology is mature and it's starting to appear everywhere. Consumers are extremely comfortable and accustomed to using this technology. It's all over the place. It's in their pockets, in their cars, on their bedside table. People use it in their everyday lives all the time to find the nearest Starbucks, wake up in the morning, or remind them of things. Virtual systems are not what they used to be. This is not an unintelligent, basic, voice-enabled auto attendant that none of us like, where we press zero or say customer service to bypass. We've gotten advances in AI and APIs and natural voice, making it so we can now talk to these assistants just like we were speaking to an actual human being. And they're intelligent enough now, they instantly predict what a customer may need, or they can perform simple tasks or give information in place of a human being. A few weekends ago, I needed to raise my ATM withdrawal limit to get some cash to buy something. I called the bank and the virtual assistant told me I could do this in the phone app. I opened up the app and the first thing it did is pop up asking if I wanted to raise my withdrawal limit. Their app knew what I needed from the previous phone call. I never spoke with a human being and I had my issue resolved in under two minutes. As all of us start to have more of these types of interactions, the bar is going to get set higher and we're going to begin to expect it. We have a guest speaker and partner here today from Google. They have the vision and the technology and the tools that help make this service possible. Dr. Ali Arsenjani is Director of Cloud Partner Engineering at Google Cloud. Dr. Ali is responsible for helping partners build, run, and integrate with their platform. He specializes in artificial intelligence and machine learning, as well as data analytics. Dr. Lee, can you tell us about how the partnership with CDK came about and the importance of Google Dialogflow to the solution? Yes, absolutely. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, so as uh, Jeff mentioned, um, we're working with CDK very closely and with other partners uh, such as Cisco in order to enable that level of uh, intelligence and customer experience that Jeff was just describing. And this partnership came about as a result of trying uh, CDK essentially trying to infuse this level of responsiveness, customer experience enhancements, um, and infuse the intelligence that's necessary in order to respond in a pretty natural way uh, to a conversational agent. So that when you're talking to that agent, it's less a mechanical type of interaction and a more human uh, geared towards a relatively more human type of interaction. So it's more natural. You can get on with what you want to do. You know, the, the technology doesn't impede what you do. We've, uh, we've done a, quite a series of, um, you know, enhancements at Google for artificial intelligence. And we're in the process of uh, continuing to, to do research uh, in, in terms of responsible ethical AI. And one of the uh, you know, results of this is our dialogue flow capability, which dialogue flow is just the name of our conversational agent. 
um, which CDK has employed in order to create these conversational platforms that can give you a very natural experience in your interactions. We're very happy and proud to be partnered with CDK and uh, our other partner, Cisco, in this process, integrating telephony, contact centers, and building conversational agents that let you run your business more smoothly. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you, Dr. Ali. Uh, we appreciate you being here with us today. We couldn't be happier to have you in this relationship. This slide shows what the customer journey looks like to schedule service with this new assistant. The customer starts communicating using whatever method they choose, a voice call, texting, web chat. In this instance, the customer's calling in. Before the first ring, we begin using APIs to look up data in the DMS, CRM, parts and service databases. And we correlate that data, identify the caller, anticipate why they are calling and offer services or information or route them to an employee. If they have a service appointment that's already booked, the system anticipates and predicts the reason for their call. And it'll ask them if they're calling to change or cancel their service appointment. If they have a vehicle in for service, we ask if they're calling to get an update on that repair status, and then we give them that update. If they're calling to request a new service appointment, we perform that workflow and we have a demo of this today. Hey there, what can I do for you today? I can currently help you schedule, modify and cancel service appointments. Yeah, I'm looking to schedule a service appointment. Am I speaking with Jason? Yes, you are. I see you've been chatting with John. Would you like me to connect you to them? No, not right now, thanks. Okay, great, let's get started. Are you calling in for your 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave? Yep, that's it. What's going on with your vehicle? Well, when I'm driving down the road, it seems like it's pulling to the left. Got it. Let's get you in for alignment issues. What date or day of the week would you like? Um, is September 24th available? Do you prefer mornings or afternoons? Mornings. Let me find out what the next available slot is. I have Saturday, September 24th at 7 o'clock available. Does this work for you? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Hang on a second while I schedule this appointment. You're good to go. Your appointment is confirmed. If you're opted into text communications, you'll receive notifications pertaining to your appointment. Is there anything else you'd like to do today? No, I think I'm good. All right. Thanks for calling. Have a great day. So hopefully you noticed how natural that interaction was. It wasn't robotic or contrived. Jason spoke to it just like he would if he were talking to a person. Right now we're busy working on other workflows using more CDK applications. As I mentioned, this could be DMS, CRM, or parts. Things like uh, the repair status. Is my car ready yet? Special parts order status. Is the part I ordered in? It's not in yet, uh, but it will arrive on Friday. And as I mentioned before, we're integrating national recalls lookup and service bookings. And we're making this omni-channel by adding texting in addition to voice as a way to communicate with the assistant. I hope this gives you an understanding of what we've put together and where we're headed with this service. If you've got any suggestions or thoughts for additional workflows we can automate, I'd love to hear them. My contact information is right here on the slide. And with that, I'll hand it back over to Anu. Great. Thanks so much, Jeff. I mean, it's very, very exciting to um, get a glimpse of the new intelligent AI virtual assistant. You can really see how this type of innovation allows you to better service customers with a, a proactive and customized experience that helps you give that, you know, gain that competitive edge and, and really uh, exceed that consumer expectation. Well, we hope you got a lot out of this session and help highlight some of the trends and innovations in IT that helps you build the trust and experience that your customers are expecting. We'd love an opportunity to talk to you about how we can help you be successful at this. Um, feel free to reach out to your CDK sales rep, um, as well as our presenter's contact information is on the slide as well. Um, and with that, a big thank you for myself and all of our presenters here for joining us on our session today. 